the states of matter can be changed into one another. For example, if we put some water in the freezer of a refrigerator, it changes into ice. If we take few pieces of ice cubes from the refrigerator and put them into a bowl, we will observe that the ice cubes change into water. Now heat the water. The water starts evaporating slowly and changes into vapor or gaseous form. Similarly, when the water vapor is cooled, it forms water. Water on further cooling again turns into ice. Thus, the states of matter are interchangeable by heating or cooling. Water, a natural resource. Water is very precious for us. It is required for several purposes. The presence of water on the earth makes life possible on it. Around 70% of the earth's surface is covered by water. Major amount of this water cannot be consumed by us. Let us learn about the distribution of water on the earth. Distribution of water on the earth. About 97% of water on the earth is salty and it is present in the oceans and seas. Only 3% of water is clean, out of which 2% of water is frozen in the form of ice caps in the glaciers, polar regions and mountain peaks. Only 1% of water on the earth is available to us for our use in the form of underground water, lakes, tanks, rivers and streams. The places from where we can obtain water are called sources of water. Let us now learn about some of the sources of water. A part of rainwater that seeps into the ground through soil and gets collected over non-porous rocks is called groundwater. This water is extracted for use by the help of tube wells and hand pumps. Water cycle the cycle of processes by which water circulates between the Earth's oceans, atmosphere and land is called water cycle. The processes involved in water cycle are evaporation, condensation and precipitation. Water evaporates and goes to the atmosphere to form water vapors. This process is called evaporation. These water vapors come close to each other to form clouds. The water vapors change to water droplets in the form of rain. This process is called condensation. Rain is a form of precipitation. All the rain water that falls on land does not immediately flow back into the sea. It seeps into the land and increases the underground water level. Thus, the whole process in which water evaporates and falls back on the land and water bodies is called water cycle. The main sources of water are rain, river, lake, pond, sea and ocean.